Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own navigational pane. So this is a default navigation pane where you have options to view by related views. And you can see all these created date. Each one of these changes what you look at down this navigation pane. Um, I'll just put it back onto object type. But what you can do is on these two chevrons, which normally you would just click to hide the navigation pane. If you right mouse click on there, you've got options again, quickly available from this right mouse click. But you've also got this option here, navigation options. And when you click into there, you can create your own group. So I'm gonna call this Steve, my group. And then in there, You've got unassigned objects, which is a default, which basically sits at the bottom. And then you've got add group. So I'm going to add a sales group, add another group, and I'm going to add a stock group. And let's just leave it at that. So you can just put as many groups in, in there as that you want. So I'm going to organize this list in terms of sales or stock. So if I click OK to that, what you can then do is you can select from this list the group you've just created, Steve, and then you've got sales and stock there. So it's a case of moving these objects. You see it creates a little shortcut, so it doesn't actually physically move. It just creates a shortcut to it. So that's sales. Um, I want that in stock, actually. Stock, table, sales. You put that in there. And then basically anything to do with um, sales. So there's a query that's a form, but that's sales. So I'll put that in there. And that's a form for books. So that'll be to do with stock, that one. Customers, mm, I should maybe have created a group for that. Sales, again, the report for sales. Sales report. And um, customers, query sales. Yeah, in there. Stock update, that would go in stock. And then I've got all these loose ones. So these macros could go in the relevant places or you could just create one for uh, macros because these are just navigational macros. That's a stock one. So these, these are now unassigned. So maybe I'm looking at customers there. So I could create a group for customers maybe and then leave this as it is. But as you can see there, You've got sales with two chevrons to collapse and stock with two chevrons to collapse and then unassigned. And you can create a navigational pane that suits your needs. So that's all I want to show you in this little session. Quick video on how to create your own navigational pane. So thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.